I've always enjoyed carving as a hobby. It seems to make the time pass by quickly. But I will admit that my carving skills are somewhat lacking. However, one of the things I've always wanted to carve was a spoon. Flexcut was generous enough to send us an array of tools they manufacture for the specific task of carving spoons. Flexcut is not paying us for this review, and everything I say is my own opinion. So I took some time one day and I carved a spoon from a blank using Flexcut tools. My experience with Flexcut tools is that they come out of the package sharp and ready to go. At the most, they would require just a little bit of honing to get that fine edge. Flexcut also offers a pair of knives that are designed specifically for carving spoons. The original spoon carving jack includes three blades. One's a straight blade for general purpose carving and roughing out the blank. What's called a hook knife, just like the one I showed you earlier, except it's got a very, very shallow curve. And then what's called a deep hook knife, a little shorter, but the curve is much more pronounced. And you'd use that obviously for scooping out the bowl of your spoon. I like these knives because the blades are easy to open and close, and it does have a lockback design, so as you open the blade, it locks in place. It doesn't move. That's a nice safety feature to have. The Spoon Carving Jack 2.0 includes four blades. This tool includes what's called a pelican blade. It's designed for slicing action to remove stock quickly from your spoon blank. Next blade, variable radius hook blade. And that's designed for scooping out the bowl of your spoon. Also included is a scorp for making narrow cuts, narrow radius cuts. And finally, we have a general purpose hook knife. And like the other FlexCut tools, this has a lockback design so that the blade doesn't close during operation. To carve my first spoon, I used the spoon carving jack only. And as I got the rough shape down, I eventually went to the workbench and used some sandpaper to smooth it out. Like I said, my experience with carving is a little bit lacking and I could have done a better job at uh, getting a smoother finish on this right off the knife. Now for my spoon, I smoothed it with sandpaper, but some people like to leave the knife marks and the facet marks right off the knife because it makes the piece look more rustic and it shows that you took some time to hand make the product. The Spoon Carving Jack and the Spoon Carving Jack 2.0 are handy knives to have to keep in your pocket. One of the products that FlexCut offers is a spoon carving kit that includes a carving blank made of basswood. They also offer spoon blanks of various sizes that you can purchase separately. A hook knife and what they call a sloyd knife to rough out the shape of your spoon. It's designed for taking away large chunks of wood at a time to make it quick and easy to get down to the rough shape that you want. And then you would use the hook knife to hollow out the bowl of the spoon. The hook knife you may not be familiar with, but it has a cutting edge all along this rounded portion here. So it's designed to make those scooping cuts. So if you're not familiar with a hook knife, you may be wondering, well, how in the world do you keep that edge nice and sharp? Because you know, when you're carving, a sharp edge is a requirement. Well, FlexCut offers what they call a hook hone and a hook strop. Now, what's the difference? Well, a hook hone uses strips of sandpaper that they supply in 400 grit and 600 grit that you wrap around this rod and you lock in place with this dowel and you slip the o-rings on to keep everything in place. And the idea is that you take your knife and you're going to hone the inside edge of the hook knife. So you put your hook knife on there and run it across and as I'm running it down the length of the rod I'm moving it around the edge of that bevel. After initial sharpening, next comes the honing process to get that ultimate razor sharp edge. 
FlexCut provides a hook strop. It includes a piece of leather wrapped around a rod. You charge it with the honing compound that they provide, and then you do the same operation as you did with the hone. You're gonna run your blade down the length, and as you do so, you're gonna run it around the edge of the hook to make sure you get the entire cutting edge. This takes a little practice, but once you get the hang of it, and you learn how to do this every few minutes as you're carving, you'll end up with a super sharp edge. So if you're interested in carving spoons, FlexCut offers a variety of kits and tools that will help get you started.